One of the biggest races we're tracking is that of the U.S. Senate seat that's being vacated by Joe Lieberman. The Republicans running for this seat are former WWE executive Linda McMahon and former 4th District Congressman Christopher Shays. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis is live in Cromwell with more on the matchup. Hi, Mark. Here we go. Hi, Ann and Keith. Good evening, everyone from Cromwell tonight. This is one of nine, re nine regional offices of the McMahon campaign is running around the state with over a thousand volunteers. One of former Congressman Chris Shea's last campaign stops today was to Oscar's Deli on Main Street in Westport, a place he says has good karma. It was 25 years ago this month that Shays, then a huge underdog, celebrated his victory in a special election for Congress with a personal call from President Reagan. He may be one of the few political watchers in the state that thinks he can win tomorrow. My opposition is trying to say, you know, I'm too far behind, don't bother. Uh, if they come out and vote, I win. Linda McMahon's campaign has shifted gears in the last few days. They've been concentrating on the final election and likely Democratic winner Chris Murphy. But now they are urging Republican voters to come out for the primary tomorrow with an incredible show of force of volunteers and paid staff working nonstop since the weekend. I believe that my supporters are uh, far more uh, energized than uh, my opponent's uh, supporters. Uh, she thinks that she can buy an election with $65 million. And I think I can win this election uh, with the experience that I have to offer. Clearly heard that before. Uh, you know, we are running a very strong campaign. We've got a good grassroots campaign. Uh, we're out every day meeting the public. Uh, this, this weekend, uh, starting on Friday, running up through the election, we will make over 100,000 contacts, either door knocks or telephone calls. But the legs were literally pulled out from under Shea's candidacy earlier this summer when a Quinnipiac University poll showed that McMahon was way ahead and she was within striking distance of the Democrats. Shea's strongest argument had been that previous polling had showed him the more formidable candidate in the fall. I think I'm in a dead heat. I think it all depends who comes out to vote. And I'm asking people in Connecticut to make history. Now, Linda McMahon has been advertising on local broadcast television for months. Christopher Shays has been unable to raise enough money to even run one commercial on broadcast television. Live in Cromwell, Mark Davis, News 8.